welcome to my channel if you're here for the very first time hello my name is Oluwakemi Adesola and if you're a returning subscriber you're an OG and you know how we do it here keep it locked in by subscribing to this channel so today I am going to talk about grief grief now, don't go anywhere as we go right into today's video So talking about grief, I'm going to do a kind of honest, I'm going to have a kind of honest conversation with you guys, which, with you guys, which I don't think I have done on my channel before. So, um, apparently a few days back, I got a call from home, back home in Nigeria. I got a call that, um, I lost my maternal grandfather, that is my mom's father. I lost him. And you know while on that call I I felt bad not because it died but I felt bad thinking about everything my mom would be going through because my mom is really close with her dad she's the only daughter and she's the first child so they have a kind of you know father daughter bond and she's like the only person around him during his last days um, so I now coming to the main problem I'm having is I feel guilty for not like you know breaking down crying feeling extremely bad like feel extremely bad because around the same time last year my dad also lost his own dad that is my paternal grandfather and we were quite very close I wouldn't visit Nigeria without you know spending adequate time with him I was crying I think for like a whole week I was close to being depressed because I felt like I should have been with him at least during his last days he was very old by the way I think he died at 97 so but I still felt so bad that I should have been with him during his last days but then the last time i was in nigeria you know my mom my siblings we were at his place we helped him clean you know rearrange his house his apartment and everything but i still felt bad that at his last moment i should have you know been right by his side so i felt bad i cried a whole lot i think i was even sick for a few days after and naturally i am a very very emotional person like even when people that i do not know when they are sick or they are or somebody died i usually feel so so bad so now here is the problem when my when i got the call from home that my mom's dad had died a um, few hours before I the only reason I felt bad was because I was thinking of everything my mom would be going through you know the burden of the barrier and everything that was going to be on her and all of that that was the only reason that I was feeling bad and I, I, I wouldn't say maybe because my maternal grandfather and I we were not that close like I don't think I've seen him in the last three or four years we've not we've not seen each other the last time i went home i had plans of seeing him but i was barely in my hometown i was mostly in lagos i spent most of my time in lagos so i didn't see him and you know i i think that i think i did not or i am not feeling very very bad because we were not that close as i am not all close to my mother's side of the family i'm closer to my father's side now two days later i started feeling guilt i wasn't feeling bad but i was feeling guilty that okay maybe if i had been closer to him or maybe if i had been closer to my mother's side of the family like if i had spent more time with him get to know him better like get to know about his life how he lived his life you know growing up for him his family and all of that maybe i would have um, like if I felt that kind of closeness with him, I would, I would feel bad. Like I would feel some, not even feeling bad. I would feel something. When I heard about his death, I was basically emotionless. Like I had no 
emotions at all i only started feeling guilty like two days later and my guilt was the fact that i wasn't close with him while he was alive so um now that now led me to i thought i had a problem like damn that's my grandfather i'm supposed to feel bad i'm supposed to you know shed a tear at least but nothing was coming i was just blank like i was empty there was no emotions at all so that now led me to reading about grief then i also learned about the five stages of grief of grieving now the first one is denial the second one is anger the third one is bargaining the fourth one is depression while the fifth one is acceptance now these stages of grief you don't have to like go through all of it when you are grieving somebody you don't have to go through all of it you don't have to experience all of it and it doesn't have to be in order you don't have to be in denial first you could be depressed first you could be bargaining it first so now i'm going to take my time to explain each um stages now talking about denial this is the stage in this is a stage in grieving whereby you are not willing to accept that you yeah you're not willing to accept that you have actually lost that person that the person is dead you know somewhere in your mind you're like oh maybe it's, the person is going to wake up or it was a prank call or the person is just going to come around and you know the person is just not dead you are not ready to accept that this person is gone that is the denial stage now the second one is anger in this stage you are angry and there is somebody you are you know transferring the aggression to because you are bottling up so much of emotions inside you and the only thing you can pour out is anger so every everything going on around you triggers you and all you can put out there is anger you have to scream at somebody you have to even at the slightest thing you are just going to react you are going to get angry and you know that's the only emotion you're capable of showing at that time anger can mask itself like fury like um resentment but as your anger is dying down as it is subsiding however you start thinking more rationally and then you begin to express more emotions more of your emotions that you've been pushing aside that you've been bottling up inside you start to express it that is when you see people crying you see them you know asking questions and really showing what they feel uh, then in this anger stage that is when people say things like um if she had cared about her health if she had taken her medicines regularly this would not not have happened if she had you know if she had gone if she had agreed to go for the surgery she would not have died that is the anger speaking that is the anger that is the anger speaking and you know the person is just so angry and start to put blames on the dead person now the next stage is bargaining this is when you you know you you see you think of or you say a lot of what ifs what if what if i had done this what if i had seen him what if i had gone to visit him what if i had replied his last message what if i had called him what if i had picked pick up his call what if there are so many what if and in this beginning stage is when you'll be like god if you can give me another chance i would you know you say a whole lot of what ifs and if i had known if only i had known if only maybe and all of that that is you trying to you know trying to bargain um it helps it's it helps people heal actually like what if what if you had done this then you think like okay if you had actually done this maybe it wouldn't have happened and it also makes us make better choices now the next stage is depression now in depression uh unlike anger and bargaining which is a very loud and active stage depression can be quiet depression can just be 
um, the the person just wanting to be on ease or at home, not wanting to talk to anybody, not eating, not picking up calls, not going to work. The person just wants to be alone, like have an alone time. But the person is actually depressed because that feeling of what am I without this person? Who am I without this person? How am I supposed to move on my life without this person? I cannot do it. I cannot, you know, so many I cannot without this person. I cannot do this. I cannot do that. How am I supposed to live my life now? Who am I supposed to look up with? And a whole lot of that. So that is the depression stage. Now the last stage is acceptance. In this stage, you have accepted that this person is really gone. You know, you there is no way you can bring this person back. And at this stage, all you can do is to reminisce about the memories that you share with the person the good times and you know that's um, in this day people say things like oh i was so fortunate oh, i'm so fortunate i was so fortunate to have been at his last birthday to have you know to have spent time with him during his last days and everything in this acceptance day you are grateful for what was instead of being sad for what could have been so this is the acceptance stage and that is the last stage of grieving before actually moving on now not everybody will go through these stages you might not even go through any of this just like i am i'm not feeling anything which i'm not saying it's a good thing or a bad thing but i'm just being honest about how i feel so my reason for making this video is i don't know if this is a normal thing so if you have gone through any kind of grieving before like if you have gone through any kind of loss maybe you've lost a family member a friend a pet a job or something i want you to share with me how you felt in the comment section um so that's all for today guys thank you for watching i really appreciate you please click on the subscribe button if you are not subscribed to my channel i love you and i'll see you in my next video bye